trouble in the morning arrives This place is just not for me I say it all the time My friends, they just ignore me Tell me never mind We know your life for a slow build surprise Stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pensacola Blue Wahoos and the Mississippi Braves. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Ryan Moreland will get his first cuts here. On the ground is second. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a fairly quick out here to begin his night of work. And with that, let's take a look at the Mississippi defense. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Alex Aviles will get his first shot here. Couple of hits in four trips last night. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. And when you've got the big lumber coming up behind you, this is not a bad idea. Get on base any way you can so they can hit with runners on. This time he just comes up a little bit short. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself. And... Neftali Soto will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting sixth, right fielder, Felipe Castro. Felipe Castro will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first, two gone. Number 32 will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee-high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. And, oh, you talk about getting a pitcher's call. There's one there, and it's 0-2. And, and this is going to be a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Ronaldo Diaz is ready to go here as we begin the third. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Number 32 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number 32. And he takes ball one. And 
and he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Swing and a high chopper. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Ryan Moreland will stand in. He's one for two so far. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Felipe Castro will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, third baseman. Number 32 will take his third shot at it now. He's 0 for 2 thus far here tonight. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3, 4, 5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled back. He'll try again, one, two. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they finally break through for hit number three of this ball game, though. It took them seven innings to do it. That is not the kind of offensive performance that's going to win you too many ball games. Throw over to first. And the runner back. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Eduardo Casilla is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. The next pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Boy, it's one thing for a reliever to come in out of the pen and throw 100 miles an hour for 15 pitches or so. But he's right up there around the century mark now, and he's still throwing hard. All right, come on now. Hey, double him up right here. Hey, here we go. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Here comes the 2 1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. A tag for one. Throw down to second here is by him and into center field. Fortunately, the center fielder's in the right spot as he gets it back in to prevent any further trouble. 
Frank Reese will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. A runner on first with two away. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right. But you know, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there. So this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads so far. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Here's a line drive caught coming off the bag. Unlucky that. Carlo Gonzalez will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Well, I think this is going to wind up working pretty much like a sacrifice, but I don't think that's what he had in mind. This wasn't a show early and make sure you get it down kind of a bunt. He was trying to beat that one out, but a good throw is going to take care of him. Ronaldo Diaz will step in, one for four in the ball game. Come on, let's get this job done. Go, see that one away, one away. And he gets on top of this one and sends it on the ground to short. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Alex Aviles will come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now's where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field quite like having two. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So two runs. Number 32 will step in, a base hit in his last time. And that's cut on and missed, 0-1. Yeah, he was trying to do something dramatic right there, but when you think about it, at this point in the ballgame, all you need is base runners. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. And this is knocked down on the mound. Well, in most cases, once he kicks this thing, it's going to be a sure error. But luckily for him, he's got a diesel tanker headed down the first baseline. So he's able to gather this thing up and still get the out at first. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one. But if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he was a thorn in their side all game long. You'll see there, he winds 